Welcome to D Jugglers, Doug's lightsaber repair workshop. We've had a young Padawan come in today with a saber forge, vanquish, fine instrument. Today we're going to be adding to this saber forge a sound card. a soundboard to go with the sound card. We're going to be adding um, some paint. And of course, some polish. We'll be buffing out the polish. And then we have a couple of uh, choices of some fantastically hand accentuated uh, uh, sabers themselves. The, you'll see that this used to be a solid piece of acrylic and it's been hand etched meticulously. And that should make a very interesting uh, effect once the lights are working. Here's another one, and this is just phenomenal because it's been cross-hatched. It's etched this way and this way. Uh, this is a Jedi, this is made by a Jedi who really loves the art. So, the paint's gonna come later. Let's set that aside. And the first thing what we need to do is disassemble the lightsaber itself. Let's see if we can get it a little closer. Oh, we can't do that. All right, so what we're gonna end up doing, ready to go, is going to take apart. Uh, this is the end of the hilt. Now be careful when you do this, it's got a rubber seal on it. Don't lose your rubber seal. Uh, this is where the speaker goes. So the speaker's gonna end up in this part. Now, we've got thumb screws, which is a nice, nice touch because uh, very easy to dismantle the saber itself. Don't lose your thumb screws. Now, I recommend as you do work on your saber that you lay the parts out as they came apart and uh, photograph what you're doing. I mean, it can be as simple as taking this piece off and then fidgeting around with it and not realizing, well, does it go on like that? Or does it go on like that? A simple photograph is gonna save you a lot of hassle there. As soon as you can, put your thumb screws back into the holes where they belong. This is something I do with automotive repair, any, any kind of repair, reassemble as quickly as you can so that you don't lose parts. And that you don't forget where the parts go. It's very easy to get to the end of a, a build on something like this with extra parts and not realize what has happened. For instance, this, this piece here, beautiful, beautiful um, touch here, just the red cover for the power supply and all it is is the end of what you would normally have as a plug that goes in here this is where the charging this is the charge port so there's a DC adapter that will plug into there in the meantime this keeps it clean and uh, and adds a nice little accent to the lightsaber itself uh, next we're going to take off this accoutrement it's held in with three thumb screws. And again, we're gonna put these on our workspace, laid out the way they came off. This way we'll know how to put them back together. And there it is. Nice little piece of decoration. Now that it's off, um, Let's go ahead and get this piece off first. Now inside of this to, this is a very, very bright LED or laser 
Um, what will happen with this piece that's in right now, that's a, a block. It keeps the light from coming out so nobody gets blinded, but it still has these beautiful accents that will light up without the saber being in it. So you can actually use this without um, the acrylic piece that goes on the end. Now the acrylic piece is strong enough that you can hit other sabers with it. You can actually fight with these sabers. Uh, this is held in with a thumb screw back here. All you need to do is loosen that a little bit. I'm gonna take it all the way up. And then that piece comes right out. And, and again, it's just, it, it's solid on the end and tra uh, translucent here so that when those uh, LEDs fire, uh, you get light out here without blinding anybody. Now there is one more thumb screw here. I can't remember if that's necessary to get this out or not, so we're going to go ahead and take it off. So there's your final thumb screw, and now this piece will slide off. Now be careful because once this comes off, oh, right, 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 this one unscrews. So we're gonna unscrew this. Now once this one comes off, uh, be aware that you've got wires in here that you don't want to lose. Now, since we haven't actually wired it up yet, we can take it completely out. But that's, that's your light source. And I would imagine we could push that out, but we don't have a need for that. What we do have a need for at this point is to reattach some of our thumb screws so that we don't lose them. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the shield off. The last time I put it back on, but then it got in the way when I actually tried to reassemble. And so we'll take these three thumb screws and just put them right here where they belong. And almost done here. This last thumb screw goes in right here. We can go ahead and reassemble that. And we don't want to lose this piece, so we will reassemble it right there. So there you have your lasers, or bright LEDs. And they do look like they go through a magnifier, or at least some kind of protective cover. Here's your hilt. The hilt now is uh, held together only with this last piece. So we're going to take off these two thumb screws. And these are where our buttons are. This just slides off now. Notice it slides right over the buttons. Nothing to worry about there. It's just a hollow tube. So, set that over here. Um, let's go ahead and get these thumb screws back, back in to the hilt because this is two separate pieces at this point but you're gonna see that as I separate it this is where it gets interesting because this is a tight little space and as we pull it off there's two ways to pull it off one with the battery and the wires tucked in like that and the other with all the wires exposed. Now, here's your charging wires. You have four wires going into that. Um, you might have to look up why. I mean, because we're going to have a hot wire, a ground. That's interesting. So, so um, we're going to have to wire this up to the battery. The battery itself has a neat little holder that the wires go through. So the wires to these two switches, and I'm going to just pull them out like that. So here's the two switches, which we'll end up wiring. We've got the blue towards the front, this other one towards the back. They, they, they perform the exact same function. I mean, they're just switches with one, two, three, four wires. So, so you can uh, you can swap them if you have to. To paint this, obviously, we're going to take the switches out. I'm going to go ahead and take them out and just lay them on the table here in the way they came out. So now this piece is ready to be taped up. What we're going to do is we're going to tape it up so that only the grip is exposed, and then we're going to paint that. 
the power switch itself is screwed in right now, so we'll leave that in. There's no reason to, no, it's not a switch, the plug. No reason to take that out because we're going to tape over it for the painting of the handle. And lastly, you've got a uh, battery in here, and I had the specification, I'm going to have to look it up again. We can actually slide that battery completely out if we need to. Um, and yes, we need to. There's the specifications. Nice. This is a Panasonic, I'm assuming that's Panasonic, uh, 86, uh, 18650P. It's a 3.7 volt battery at 3,400 3, milliamps. Uh, now I'll be able to go online and look up the specification so that we can charge that with a power supply. So we're going to use a benchtop power supply to charge that. I see no reason to actually take it out of there. Uh, they've already got the wires here. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge with the desktop power supply. So um, that's interesting. I wonder how I need a plug. It goes in that. This is going to Radio Shack with me. If that's the male, I'd like to see a female for that. All right. Um, the only things we haven't done are exposed the sound card. So here, or this uh, speaker. So here's the speaker itself. That's nice. I have been having a difficult time with these plastic bags today. All right. Oh, that's nice. They got it in a little plastic case there. Please maintain volume level at 75% or level three on your soundboard for better lifespan. Oh, that's interesting. So they're saying if you want to extend the lifespan of the speaker, don't play it at full volume. Never heard that before with any of my other speakers. Okay, this is sealed up. Uh, it's got a speaker type on here. Uh, it's been tested on, uh, looks like, I can't read those numbers, February 5th maybe. And, um, and it's got the wires and it's gonna slip into that. I'm not gonna open it quite yet until I do a little bit of research on what wires go where. And this is a 28 millimeter 4 ohm, 2 watt stealth speaker. So the sound card says, observe precautions for handling electric static sensitive devices on the plastic table, static discharge. And inside of this, I'll check that out. So there is a SanDisk 16 gigabyte card. I may have some programming to do on this too. And we are in a static bag. And so there's the actual speaker. So what, what I believe is gonna end up happening is it's gonna end up getting mounted right in there. That's beautiful. Yes, yeah, it's gonna clip in. There's, there's clips there, and clips there. So some magic's going to happen to make us be able to slide that. I bet we slide it in like that. So we're going to slide that in there. That's where the board's going to get mounted. Um, of course, we've got to get online and read the instructions for all of that. There is a, uh, this is where the micro SD card will go, right in there. And that is beautiful. Okay. So, once that's in there, all these wires that we have are going to get wired into that, and we'll do some soldering, and then we're going to go fight bad guys. How fun is that? Let's put this back in the static bag for right now, and the next thing we're going to do is run off to AutoZone. AutoZone, <laughs> Radio Shack, 
and, uh, and we're going to look for a, a male plug, a female plug for this, because I would much rather have a female plug that plugs that and plugs into there. But I mean, the other choice is to cut the wires and uh, solder them and uh, wrap them in heat shrink tape. So now we're off to buy either a plug and or heat shrink ca uh, table uh, cable. Can't speak. Heat shrink uh, wrap. And once we have that, the next step will be to be able to look up uh, installation instructions on these two to make sure that we're wiring to the right spots. That's uh, some solder and assembly. Good times. You've been listening to Doug, Jedi the Juggler.